Burning incense is a ritual as old as time itself. It likely began with the discovery that burning certain plants and tree barks generated pleasant aromas. Eventually, people began compressing those sweet smells into cone incense, which burned slowly, giving the user more time to relax. Lighting an incense cone can instantly change the mood in a room. As the cone smolders, it releases a bouquet of scents from the powdered flowers, herbs, and other plants used to make it. The fragrances released create a soothing atmosphere. An incense cone starts with bins of aromatic raw materials, like dried flower petals, spruce tree needles, and blossoms that have been ground to a fine powder to release their perfumes. Other ingredients in the bins include tree barks and tree resins. Everything comes from nature. The factory combines the ingredients in various formulations, depending on the incense cone recipe. The exact amounts in each recipe are closely guarded company secrets. They follow each recipe to the letter, measuring all the ingredients with a traditional balance scale. There's no room for error, otherwise the product will smell off. This particular blend is called forest honey. The combination of ingredients includes berries and a pungent balsamic tree resin called olibanum. The batch should emit a sweet woodsy aroma. They add buckets of the measured ingredients to a mixer and then turn the switch to activate the auger. The auger spirals to evenly distribute all the aromatic ingredients. While that's happening, a worker scoops up something that looks a lot like pastry flour, but is actually a plant-based binding agent. He mixes it with cold water to liquefy the binder. Then, in a separate pot, he adds orange food coloring to boiling water, and an automated whisk mixes thoroughly. He pours the thick binder liquid into the orange-colored water, the whisk kneads it to a pudding-like consistency. It's thick and sticky, so it's ready to add to the dried fragrance mix. The auger works it into a cakey orange dough that's as malleable as putty. They'll now use this two-part dye to shape the dough into cones. The worker manually presses the fragrant dough into the cavities of the dye. He compacts the dough with this handy tool. This eliminates air pockets and ensures the dough takes the cone shape. He levels the bottoms of the incense cones and then opens the dye carefully. The shapes are soft and delicate. One false move, and he could destroy some of the cones. The cautionary approach pays off, and the cones are intact. Now it's into the drawing chamber. The temperature in here is around 38 degrees Celsius, hot enough to toughen up these soft and crumbly cones. After four days in the drawing chamber, the incense cones have hardened and solidified. The cones now bounce along a conveyor, past an inspector who sorts out any defective ones. The good ones move forward and tumble down a chute. They land in a plastic bag and a device moves in to heat seal it. An automated counter overhead portions out the cones to ensure the correct number is deposited in each package. After a worker puts the bag in a box, an automated device folds down the lid. From start to finish, it takes about 14 days to produce a package of incense cones. All that hard work is about to go up in sweet-smelling smoke, which of course is the whole idea.